So I just gotten back from Panama from a trip with Fish Village and as soon as I got back I got a last minute invite from John John Taban to head out to Maui and come fish his home waters. Yeah, so I've known John John for a couple years now. We fish together a lot and um, when I found out Robert Fields was coming out here I jumped at the opportunity, you know, put him on some fish, show him how we do it out here in Maui. I've been fishing with John John here in the waters of Maui County for a couple years now and he hit me up a few weeks ago and said uh, Rob Field was coming to Maui. It all worked out pretty good. We had a lot of fun. Got him on some fish. Maui no ka'oi. And asked me if I wanted to do a little mother shipping for him in my 26-foot uh, world cat. Of course I agreed. We loaded up the kayaks and went to it. Having Nick here with the boat really kind of changed the game for us. You know, as kayak anglers, a lot of times if we get to a spot and, and the bite's just not there, uh, that's just it. But with Nick, we were able to pick back up, move 10 miles down the coast, and see if we couldn't find some fish. If you look, if you see the waves come up, so we just made it over here to the backside of Lanai, dropping the kayaks in now, see if we can't find some fish. Something hit the vertical jig. Second drop. <laughs> All right, so this is a Kagami, or as we call them in the States, African Pompano. Beautiful fish. My primary guide here in Maui is John John Taban, who recently starred on Discovery Channel's Pacific Warriors. John John really embodies the spirit of Hawaii fishing, both culturally and spiritually. His passion for the ocean and its inhabitants shines through him with every word and action. We also met up with Brandon's Foboda. Brandon's on! Who went out of his way to ensure I had a successful trip. Oh yeah! Despite not being native to the island, Nick Gadwa has embraced the concept of aloha and hustled to support the kayak anglers in every way possible. Shark fishing! <laughs> but like any self-respecting angler would, he got in on the action himself. Lee Alameda also provided support by catching bait, helping us find fish, and even cleaning up our catch. He is one of the most down-to-earth dudes I think I've ever met. Uh, great eating fish. This guy's gonna be dinner. Nice! I got color. Fish on, something hit the live bait. The magic of Maui is difficult to put into words. The spirit of the ocean and its connection to the people here are unlike anywhere else I've fished. For the Hawaiian people, the ocean isn't just a source of food and tourism dollars. It's a way of life. Whenever I want to experience a fishing trip that I'll be talking about for the rest of my life, I place my trust in Fish Village.